Arduino sensors, light sensor, ultrasonic distance sensor, temperature sensor, moisture sensor, water level sensor, sound sensor, gas sensor. There are many different types of Arduino sensors. You have the light sensor, ultrasonic distance sensor, temperature sensor, moisture sensor, water level sensor, sound sensor, gas sensor, magnetic field sensor, gravity sensor, humidity sensor, vibration sensor, pressure sensor, and many more. What is a sensor? Sensors are devices that convert a physical quantity, such as light intensity, or temperature, or sound, into an electrical quantity. One reason that an Arduino is so useful, is that it can easily collect information from sensors. The Arduino can send data to your computer through serial communication. This is a very useful tool, in order to check data coming from a sensor. Here are some codes to communicate with your computer look like. Using serial communication, let's try to send the hello world text to your computer. Copy and paste the code, then click on the serial monitor. You can see the hello world text in the display of serial monitor. Now, try to move the line serial print ln hello world. In between the curly brackets of the loop part of the program. Notice, that you can see an endless display of hello world. Now, add the line, delay, 200, before the last curly bracket of void loop. Notice, that you can see in the same endless display of hello world. But, they are shown slowly. This is because there was a delay command included. Here are the Arduino sensors mostly used in projects. The light sensor, ultrasonic sensor, temperature sensor, moisture sensor, water level sensor, sound sensor, and the gas sensor. Light sensors, or photoresistors, also known as light dependent resistors are light-sensitive devices most often used to indicate the presence, or absence of light, or to measure the light intensity. In the dark, their resistance is very high, sometimes up to 1 mega ohms, but when the LDR sensor is exposed to light, the resistance drops dramatically, even down to a few ohms, depending on the light intensity. Here's the code and hardware connections for a light sensor switching LED project. When there is plenty of light, the blue LED remains off. But when we cover the light sensor, the resistance goes up. If the sensor value goes beyond the threshold limit, then the LED lights up. Ultrasonic sensor This sensor measures distance using sound waves, which bounce back to the sensor. The distance sensor emits short bursts of sound, and listens for this sound to echo off of nearby objects. The sensor measures the time of flight of the sound burst. A user then computes the distance to an object, using this time of flight. This ultrasonic sensor contains two sensors, a speaker, and a microphone. The speaker is connected to pin 12 and is an output. The microphone is connected to pin 11, and is an input. There are also connections for VCC 5 volts, and ground wiring. Here's the code for the ultrasonic sensor project. The Arduino triggers the sensor by sending a pulse to the speaker. The speaker in turn sends an ultrasonic burst of sound. The sensor then waits for the sound burst to reflect off of something, 
and return to the microphone where it is detected. The Arduino can now measure the time of flight of the sound wave. This is the LM35 temperature sensor. It senses the temperature around it, then converts that to volts. The amount of volts may be converted to Celsius, or to Fahrenheit, in the program code. Then, the program may print the temperature value to an output monitor or device. Here we are using the LM35 temperature sensor. This project senses the temperature around it, then converts that to volts, volts to Celsius, then Celsius to Fahrenheit. It then prints the temperature value, in Celsius, and Fahrenheit scale. The moisture sensor consists of two probes that measure the moisture level in the soil. The two probes allow the electric current to pass through the soil, and, according to its resistance, measures the moisture level of the soil. When there is more water, the soil conducts more electricity, which means that the resistance will be less. So the moisture level will be higher. Dry soil reduces conductivity. So when there is less water, the soil conducts less electricity, which means it has more resistance. Thus, the moisture level will be lower. In this system, moisture sensor senses the moisture level of the soil. If soil is dry, then sensor senses low moisture level, and automatically switches on the water pump to supply water to the plant. As plant gets sufficient water, and soil gets wet, then sensor senses enough moisture in soil. Thus, the water pump will automatically turn off and stop. This is what we call, an automatic plant watering system, or an automatic irrigation system. The water sensor, or water level sensor is used to measure the water level, detect water leakage, rainfall, or tank overflow. The water level sensor has three pins, the S pin, or signal pin, is an analog output connected to one of the analog inputs on your Arduino board. The positive, VCC pin, which supplies power for the sensor. And the negative, ground pin, is the ground connection. The water level sensor produces an output voltage that can be measured. The water sensor has a series of copper traces which acts as a variable resistor. The more water the sensor is immersed in, the better the conductivity is, the lower the resistance is, and the more output voltage the sensor produces. Thus, by measuring the output voltage, we can determine the water level. In this project, when the water level goes beyond a certain threshold, it triggers the LED to light up. The sound module, consists of a sensitive capacitance microphone for detecting sound and an amplifier circuit. The output of this module is both analog and digital. The digital output acts as a key, and it activates when sound intensity has reached a certain threshold. The sensitivity threshold can be adjusted via the potentiometer on the sensor. The analog output voltage changes with the intensity of sound received by the microphone. You can connect this output to Arduino analog pins and process the output voltage. After making the connections and uploading the code to Arduino, snap, or clap in front of the sensor. You can observe a small LED on sound sensor out pin, as well as the red LED on digital pin 12 of Arduino, will both be active, whenever the sensor detects any sound. The MQ2 gas sensor, 
is a sensor which detects gas and smoke with concentration between 300 parts per million and 10,000 parts per million. It can detect butane, propane, methane, alcohol, hydrogen, and smoke. It can be only used indoors, at ambient temperature. It has two pins for the power, one pin for the digital value, and one pin for the analogic value. After making the connections and uploading the code to Arduino, it's ready to activate whenever it detects smoke or gas. You can observe that whenever the amount of smoke or gas goes beyond the threshold, the red LED lights up, and the buzzer sounds. Otherwise the green LED lights up, which means no gas or smoke was detected.